What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. So there's been a crazy little uh, tidbit of news going around on the internet. It's in the rumor mill uh, and uh, it's really, really weird. It's like one of those stories that you hear and you're like, am I in the Twilight Zone? And if this rumor turned out to be true, I'd eat my fucking hat because I don't think it's possible. But who knows? I've seen stranger things happen. You know, years and years ago, 20 years ago, you would have never got me to believe I would have saw Mario and Sonic at the fucking Olympics hanging out. Uh, so, I mean, things like this happen from time to time. The only thing about this rumor that has me totally disbelieving is the price that supposedly Microsoft is willing to pay. If you guys have not got this news, Silent Hills is rumored to be coming to the Xbox One. That's right. Konami's canceled PlayStation exclusive game that's being that was being created by uh, Hideo Kojima, uh, Guillermo del Toro, and starring Norman Reedus. Uh, that was going to breathe new life into the Silent Hill franchise is rumored to be coming to the Xbox One. Uh, and it's a really strange story. It came from Rooster Teeth, and according to Rooster Teeth, an anonymous source said that Silent Hills is 80% complete, that Microsoft is trying to purchase the property for billions of dollars. Billions with a B. Uh, and they're trying to buy, buy E3 of this year. Uh, where at E3 they're going to reveal it as an official Xbox One exclusive. And they say that it could be released as early as March of 2016. Um, they're saying also in this anonymous rumor mill that Konami pulled the PT demo from the PlayStation Store as a show of good faith to Microsoft. Now how crazy is that? Now I can't think of any other demo that has been pulled from the PlayStation Store. Yeah, I, I think PT is like the only one in my mind that I can think of that people actually talked about, liked, and got pulled for virtually no reason. There was really no reason for Konami to yank it out of the store. So that gives this story a little bit of credibility because it's really weird for such a good and big developer or publisher, Konami, to, uh, to pull a game from the PlayStation Store. The thing that makes this really, really weird is this billions of dollars that Microsoft would actually buy this uh, game for billions. It doesn't make any sense. Amazon purchased Twitch for 970 million. That's Twitch. Twitch makes money. Everybody uses Twitch. Microsoft purchased Mojang for 2.5 billion. And you guys know Mojang owns, they owned uh, Minecraft. And that's basically a press to print money. There's Minecraft shit everywhere, movies, toys, games, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. You can go buy Minecraft bed sheets. It's it, it's insane. So Microsoft, that was a really good purchase. Disney bought Lucasfilm and Star Wars for 4.5 billion. And need I say more about that? You guys see what's happening with this new Star Wars movie? They might make all their money back on one fucking movie. So those are credible purchases that are understandable purchases. But the thing is, this does not seem like it would be a feasible purchase for Microsoft to make because Silent Hill, I think the Silent Hill franchise has only sold eight and a half, eight point six million units since the game was released originally. So that's something to think about. I don't know if they're trying to, you know, turn this into a more than just a game type of situation. They're trying to branch out into other things. It's really weird. My fucking brain is spinning just talking about this because I love I love Silent Hill. I mean, I love Silent Hill. I played the original when it first came out, and I played pretty much every one up until now. I was super excited about uh, the Silent Hills game and the PT trailer, and this just seems like a really weird story. I'm thinking if they if they said maybe for a few million, that would be understandable. Maybe uh, you know, a couple hundred million dollars to buy the franchise, maybe. But the billions that just throws me completely off. And, uh, you know, when you think about Norman Reedus and Guillermo del Toro, they're all saying it's not going to happen. I think if the game was 80% complete, they would have said, well, it happened, but it's not going to be released or something. I don't know. If it comes out the Xbox One, I'm still going to get it. I love Silent Hills. Uh, I love Silent Hill. I've never played Silent Hills. But I, I love the Silent Hill franchise. And if somehow Microsoft does acquire it, I will be playing that game. I will be buying that game. You guys let me know what you think. Is this story just totally out of left field? Do you think it's total bullshit? Rooster Teeth is usually, usually on point with their rumors. You know, they're, they're usually some validity to them. I love Ashley Jenkins and Meg Turney. Those are my girls. 
Uh, but this story is kind of crazy. You guys let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.